Hello friends, this is Suket, the one-handed techie. Today's episode is specially for Indian audiences who have a Reliance NetConnect 3 dongle and want to use it with the Micromax MMX 440W Wi-Fi router plus power bank. Let's start the setup which is quite simple to do. All you need is a working Reliance NetConnect 3 dongle and a Micromax MMX 440W Wi-Fi router plus power bank. This Wi-Fi module can work with other CDMA dongles as well, but since I got a request for Reliance NetConnect 3, we will configure that for now. The router should be charged enough to power up the dongle. You can check the power by pressing the T button on the right side of the module. Once the module has enough power in it, you can insert your dongle on the top of the module and toggle the switch on the right hand side to R meaning router. In a while you will see the light on the Reliance dongle glow from red to green. On your laptop connect the Wi-Fi router named Speedster MMX 440W and the default password would be 12345678. You will find all this content in the description as well. Once connected to the Wi-Fi network from your browser log into 192.168.10.1 and it would open up the router's configuration page. Put in the ID and password as admin and you will be logged in. Click on the wireless option on the top menu. In this you can change your SSID name and password to connect to your Wi-Fi. If you have changed your SSID name or password, you will have to connect to the Wi-Fi network with the new name and password and log in again to 192.168.10.1 with the ID password as admin. To set up the Reliance NetConnect 3 dongle, click on the 3G tab from the top menu and select Reliance eVideo from the drop down menu next to 3G ISP. Leave the next two fields blank and in the dialed number it should automatically add hash 777. If it does not, you can add it manually as well. In the username and password fields below that, you have to put your Reliance NetConnect dongle number. Tick mark on the auto dial option below it. That's it, the configuration is done. Now you can click on status from the top menu and click connect or refresh and it should connect to the internet. That's it friends. Hope the process seems simple and helpful to you. If you like the video, give us a shout and press the thumbs up button. If you have any other questions, you can leave your comments below and I'll surely reply back to you. And please don't forget to share it. Until next time.